In this segment, we'll have a look at SimTable's tactical firefighting tool suite. We'll point our laser pointer at the bottom right here, and as you can see, we have fire lines, dozer types, crew types, engines, tankers, and helicopters. We'll begin with fire line left, which will simulate a prescribed burn. Therefore, we'll go ahead and set our wind to a very low velocity and begin to draw it on our map here. We simply hold the cursor until it turns yellow and drag the line to give our fire line a path. We'll go ahead and choose fire line right and do the same here to the west. Depending on the anchor point and direction we set for our fire line, fire line left will ignite to the left of that facing direction and fire line right to the right, as you'll see here as we begin our simulation. So let's go ahead and reset that and move on to a dozer type 1 and 2. We'll give our dozers a path flanking this hill here where we'll set a fire simulation. As with the fire line, we wait until the resource is labeled and then we designate its path. With the dozers, you can see that we're using a brush tool which allows us more freedom and following the contours of the topography as we see fit. As our simulation progresses, you'll notice that each unique resource has its own respective progression rate. These rates are set by the data outlined in the NWCG Fireline Handbook. Let's reset our simulation and we'll illustrate the same principle with respective progression rates by setting a simulation with type 1, 2, and 3 crews in the northwest section of our map here. Again, we'll draw our resources with parallel paths, so we may observe their unique progression rates as they correspond to the progression of our incident simulation as well. As our fire simulation progresses, so will the respective progression rates of our resources. And over time, we'll see that the Type 1 crew will advance beyond the Type 2 crew and subsequently Type 2 over Type 3. So we'll go ahead and reset our simulation and move on to illustrate our engine types as well as our helicopters. Engine types 1 will place here and here, and you can observe their respective hose radiuses, which the data is also brought from the NWCG Fireline Handbook. We'll place an engine type 3 here, as well as a couple of engine type 6s here and here, and our helicopter to the southwest here. And we'll go ahead and choose fire mode to set a fire simulation here and we'll send that towards our resources to the east. Let's go ahead and reset our simulation and move on to our tankers. Much like the fire line tools, we'll click and drag a line and then we'll set a fire progression in front of both lines and send them towards it. Over the next hour and a half to two and a half hours, dependent on the wind input, each line will allow the fire progression to break through depending on its own unique retardant rate. This concludes our demonstration. We thank you for your time. Please find out how to contact us at simtable.com.